Okay. We are our meet morning meetings here. We have the salary board as well as uh, to be followed by a meeting of the board of commissioners today, December 7th, 2023, 9 30 a.m. This is Pearl Harbor Day. If you don't know what that is, I guess you look it up. Okay, um, so we will call to order the meeting of the salary board. Uh, begin with the roll call members present. Commissioner Eichelberger, Commissioner Vice uh, Chief, Commissioner Di Filippo, Controller Whitcomb. Here, present. All present. Oh. Okay, all right. Uh, this is the uh, point of the agenda where we allow for public comment in regards to issues of the salary board. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. All right, um, number four, we have the minutes at hand of our meeting of November 22. I make a motion to approve the minutes of November 22nd. Second. Okay, we've been seconded. All in favor, and keep by saying aye. 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 Carries. Moves us to number five. We have salary board actions. I'll approve it. I'll make a motion to approve the salary board actions, except for the district, uh, for the public defender. Aye. Except for that. Okay. Except for okay, we'll, we'll take action on this. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Do we have a second? Is there a reason why we're doing that? It makes sense. Yeah. Oh, got it. Okay. I second. Okay. Move and second it. All in favor and to keep saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Yeah. Aye. Um, I'm moving for the approval of the requested positions for the public defender office. I'll second the motion. Okay. Move and second it. All in favor and to keep saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Brings us. Is there any additional business to come for salary? No. Not hearing anything. I'll entertain a motion for adjournment. Make a motion to adjourn. Then we'll move us into the Board of Commissioners meeting. Yes, you stand able to join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, so we, uh, we will call me to order and begin with roll call members present. Please. Commissioner Eichelberger. Present. Commissioner Fashi. I'm here. Commissioner Timothy. Okay, that moves us to public comment on any non agenda items. Not seeing or hearing anything. So uh, brings us to the point of the meeting where we are using the consent agenda. This comes over to. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, the consent agenda contains um, agenda items uh, 4 through 13. Uh, these appear to be routine in nature, do not appear to be controversial, and uh, do not appear to require any additional discussion. If anybody requests any of these agenda items be discussed, now would be the time to make that request. Okay. Hearing none, seeing none, I would request approval of the consent agenda. Move to approve the consent agenda as presented. I second. Okay, moved and seconded. All in favor, and keep by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, commissioners. That takes us then to the regular agenda. And these are non routine items uh, that will be discussed and acted upon uh, if you so choose individually. And we'll start with agenda item 14, and I'll call on Commissioner Fashi uh, to um, provide a recognition for Commissioner DiFilippo. So, Commissioner DiFilippo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have in my hand. Money. <laughs> but I have in my hand a recognition of you. And before I read it, I want to thank you so much for the past four years and your mentoring of me. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, how much I appreciate that you and I can come to some level of consensus, mm -hmm. even though we are often very far apart on things. True. I so, so appreciate 
that you would take the time uh, to deal with me in a very civil manner and to work things out and talk things through. You have no idea how much that has meant to me over the past four years. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to read this to you. Okay. okay. Vincent T. DeFilippo, Cumberland County Commissioner. With heartfelt appreciation, we thank you for eight years of exemplary service and unwavering dedication to Cumberland County. During your tenure as a commissioner, your astute insight, incisive questioning, and exceptional leadership have significantly contributed to the growth and prosperity of the county. Your commitment to farmland preservation is commendable, and your visionary approach to county government has been instrumental in fostering positive change, driving initiatives, and advancing the prosperity of our community. And this is presented to you the seventh day of December, 2023. Thank you. Thank you so much, Commissioner. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You know, I can say a lot, folks, but I'm not. Um, I'll, maybe I'll save that for next week at the celebration. But, uh, Gene, thank you for those kind words. And, you know, trying to work together is a big thing if you're an elected official. And uh, But the most impressive thing I found in my eight years here are the people, the staff. I spent well over 30 years in the private sector and worked with some wonderful people. But the staff here at Cumberland County is the best. And I will always appreciate the kindness and thoughtfulness and respect you have shown to me. It's made my job so much easier. And, uh, and I hope you all remember me as someone who simply wanted to do the right thing the right way. And again, thank you all very much. I thank my colleagues. I wish you the best in your next term. And I hope you welcome uh, soon to be commissioner and eater as well. She's a good person. And I think uh, the sport will be fine for the next four years. So thank you all very much. Okay, that takes us then to agenda item 15. I'm going to call on Angela Smizer to cover the contracts. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Moving on to agenda item 15, I will call on Jamie Ryber to discuss the contracts for children and youth. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I have three addendums actually today. The first one is for Child First Services. Um, we are actually decreasing one of their rates 0.25% based on the state approval that came through afterwards. Um, so we're just reducing that. Uh, the second one is for Hope's Haven. Uh, we are granting them a increase uh, at this point in time. They did not originally ask for an increase and have never asked for an increase while we contracted with them. Um, but due to some challenges, they came back to us and asked for one now. So we are granting that. Uh, it is 33%. Um, however, um, they do a great job with our kids. It's below the state maximum allowable. Uh, and they're definitely um, seeing the same hardships as everybody else is typically. Uh, the last one is for Justice Works Youth Care. Uh, we are also giving them an increase. We did give them an increase uh, effective July 1, uh, minimal increases. Uh, they did come back to us with an additional request. Um, so effective October 1st, we are increasing their rates an additional 3.8% um, to cover some uh, additional expenses, expenses they have with uh, their insurances. Are there any questions? I will move to approve the contracts for children and youth services as discussed. We'll second. Okay, move down. Seconded. All in favor to keep us saying aye. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Moving on to agenda item 16, I will call on Anita Brewster to discuss the grant acceptance for CASA. Thank you. Good morning. Um, I'm finally getting the gist of how grants work. I'm being educated by finance and human service uh, resources. But um, PA CASA was able to get for the first time into the state budget last fiscal year. And we were allocated a portion of the grant that they got. So we are thrilled that it looks like it's gonna happen again. Um, we are hoping to get $35,000 this year. So an increase from 28,000 
This is going to support a part-time position, which is helping us continue to train and recruit. And what we're really striving to do this year is um, retain. We have some amazing CASAs, um, and we really want to give them opportunities for more education, continuing ed, trainings, um, and incentives. They really need to be patted on the back because they're volunteers and nothing else except you know, cheerleading from us. <laughs> so we're, we're happy that we um, have the opportunity to do this and we hope this can be approved so we can move forward. And commissioners, if I could please clarify, this is a grant application for CASA. It is not the acceptance. I'll make a motion that we approve the VA uh, CASA Association grant application for $35,000 for courts. So. I second. Okay, we've been seconded. All in favor, of people saying aye. 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 <laughs> Thank Very you. Much. Moving on to agenda item 17, I will call on Eric Radnovich to discuss the grant acceptance for the district attorney's office. Good morning, commissioners. I'm asking you to accept a, a three-year grant from the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation for $406,033.78. It's a traffic safety grant to support all things uh, traffic and pedestrian safety. Yeah. Any questions for Eric? I will move to approve the PA Department of Transportation grant acceptance of $406,033.78 for the district attorney's office. Second. Okay, moved and seconded. All in favor, keep it saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Moving on to agenda item 18, I will call on Holly Sherman to discuss the contract for human resources. Good morning, Holly. Good morning. The contract that we have is a no cost contract with Shippensburg University for a period of five years. The purpose of this contract is to allow us to host interns from Shippensburg University um, and then um, the terms <laughs> for each side of that when we are hosting those interns. Any questions? Lisa, this is for five years? Yes. Looking at the contract term, it looks like it indicates six. Um, sorry, I'm not looking at the actual contract, and it does say for a period of, so I don't know if the paperwork is, is not correct with that, but it is a five-year with the option to extend for an additional um, semester at the request of the university. I think that the term end date should be 12 31 29 28. Okay. So, other questions? Do we have a motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion that we approve the Shippensburg University internship agreement contract for human resources with the correction noted. I second. Okay, we've been seconded. All in favor to keep us saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you, Holly. Moving on to agenda item 19, I will call on Adam Green to discuss the contract for IMTO. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, everybody. Uh, commissioners, before you, we have a contract for Civic Plus. This is to renew our website for a year. Now, this also includes a complete rebuild, revamp of our current website to a new platform, new design. We are also adding additional features, including an AI chatbot search tool, as well as ADA enhancement upgrades. Uh, these were both things found on both our public and internal survey results as needing the most attention. So they are included in that here. Uh, the contract amount is $45,473.17. And this is a one-year uh, contract. Any questions? Good no, I will move to approve the Civic Plus contract for IMTO as discussed. Second. Okay, we've seconded. All in favor to keep us saying aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Moving on to agenda item 20, I will call on Annie Strait to discuss the contracts for MHIDD. Good morning, Annie. Good morning, everyone. So I have two contracts to present to the commissioners. The first uh, is an amendment, an increase uh, for a speech therapist, 
Barbara Weber. And um, the increase is $4,829. And it's due to an increase in services that are being authorized for early intervention. Brings the co contract total to $10,826. Uh, the, the next contract is a new contract for fiscal year 23-24 uh, with an organization called TheraPlay, and they also provide speech therapy for um, our children for early intervention services. The contract total is $12,214. Do you have any questions for me? A motion to approve the contract and addendum for MHIDDS. Listed. I second. It was moved and seconded. If there's no further questions, all in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Annie, if I could just for a second, um, my apologies. I reached out to you late regarding an update with the Commissioner Liaison Reports. And uh, I know I didn't give you adequate time, but since we have you on the line here, is there any um, anything going on with the walk in center or any of the other uh, issues of hanging fire? I know you folks are very, very busy. Anything you wanted to report out to us. It's new well, you're, you're, you're certainly correct. It's been exceptionally busy. Um, we're continuing to see an increase in um, requests for services. Uh, certainly our wait lists continue to be uh, high and we're struggling to meet the demand of our community. Um, we were working on finalizing uh, a contract with the, the proposed vendor for the walk-in center and there'll be more on that very soon. Um, and so with that, I think that's pretty much it for now. Um, just excited about the direction of the system. Certainly lots of positive energy. And uh, we're really hoping to continue this great momentum. Great. Thank you very much. Sorry to put you on the last uh, spot there. So No problem. All right. Thank you, Annie. Thank you. Moving on to agenda item 21, I will call on Travis Shank to discuss the contracts for the prison. Good morning, commissioners. The prison is seeking approval for a one year contract addendum with Prime Care Medical. The addendum is $3,298,910.44. It is an increase of $536,235.57. The factors for this increase are the addition of a one, one full time mat nurse, one time mental health clinician and increasing the hours of the certified registered nurse practitioner from 24 to 32 hours. Any questions? You can discuss the grant acceptance as well. Thank you, Ms. Miller. <laughs> the prison also is seeking your approval for uh, excuse me, acceptance of a grant from SCAP in the amount of $16,428. The Bureau of Justice, in conjunction with ICE and the Department of Homeland Security through SCAP, the State Criminal Alien Assistance Program, provides federal payments to state and local, local jails that incur correctional officer salary costs for incarcerating undocumented crim criminal aliens with at least one felony or two misdemeanor convictions for violations of state and local law and are incarcerated for at least four consecutive days during a reporting period. Again, the total amount for this Grant is $16,428, which has, is an increase of $1,286. Any questions? I will move to approve the contract and grant for the prison as discussed and as listed at agenda item 21. Second. Okay, move to second. All in favor, keep us in Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a great day. You Moving on to agenda item 22, I will call on Justin Miller to discuss the grant application for recycling and waste. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, everyone. So I have two forms that require your signature. Um, they're part of the application for reimbursement for our October Household Hazardous Waste event. First form is the record of operations report, which uh, tells DEP that we collected 36,139 pounds of household hazardous waste for 317 people. The second form of the application for reimbursement gets into the economics of the event. Um, total eligible costs were 34,843 and 14 cents. We brought in $19,468.15 in fees, which makes us eligible for the net cost of $15,000. 
15374.99. So we are asking for that amount of money from DEP. Any questions for Justin? No, I make a motion to approve the uh, PADEP Household Small Business Hazardous Waste Collection Program grant application for recycling waste in the amount of fifteen thousand three seventy four ninety nine cents. I second. Okay, second. All in favor to keep saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Moving on to agenda item 23, I will call on, I believe Stephanie Fehler is um, speaking on this item for the Sheriff's Office. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Commissioners. Before you today is a contract with the American Trauma Society to provide services under the PennDOT Highway Safety Grant that was awarded to the county earlier this year. This is a three-year contract effective October 1st of 2023 through September 30th of 2026 in the amount of $556,995.91. The goal of the services provided is to reduce the number of vehicle fatalities and injuries through various highway safety activities that address vehicle occupant protection, DUI awareness, pedestrian, bicycle, motorcycle, and school bus safety, and the safe vehicle and safe driving characteristics. Is there any questions? The only question I have is, is this related at all to the DA's grant on traffic safety that we just yeah. took a separate? Okay. I have, I have a question. Uh, the grant amount is 556,000 yes. and some change, and it's for three years. Yes. Uh, what would happen if that money's not spent? I don't have an answer. I'm going to assume that it's retained in the uh, MDOT, um, but I, that's an assumption. So I don't have an answer for you. Would you like me to follow up? Yeah. Sure. No rush. Any other questions? I will move to approve the American Trauma Society contract for the Sheriff's Office as discussed. I'll say. Okay, moved and seconded. All in favor to keep us saying aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, I will hand the meeting back over to Steve. Thanks, Angela. <laughs> that takes us to agenda item 24, which is Commissioner's liaison reports. And Commissioner Eisenberger, I'll start with you. Yeah, just briefly, we heard from Justin regarding uh, recycling. Um, but we, uh, Annie was on board since I was unable to connect with her. She was very fast on her feet, so uh, it's no problem. Provided us with a little bit of information on there. The only other thing was that uh, I did attend a five monthly meeting of the Workforce Investment Board, where I represent Cumberland County. Um, lots of uh, in information in regards to future job training and the use of state and federal funds, particularly with the advent of uh, artificial intelligence and the Huge amount of uh, hype and mania surrounding that at the moment. Uh, Going to be an interesting topic for a number of years. So, uh, I have the ED's report on that, and if there's interest, I can circulate that. That's all I have. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Fashi. Well, good morning, Cumberland County. I would remind you to use the Cumberland County Library System, especially if you have some free time over the holidays. It's great. Great time to stop by and cruise all the offerings at the library. Um, November 28th, 2023, our own Kirk Stoner delivered the state of Carlisle uh, to the Carlisle, Cha the Carlisle Chamber of Commerce event across the street. Um, it was a breakfast event and, you know, Kirk can take very, very, very complicated ideas and jargon and he boils it down for the layperson in such a beautiful way. Um, but really and truly explained very nicely the potential for change on Interstate 81 here in Carlisle. Talked a lot about multimodal transportation. He just does such a nice, good, uh, such a nice job. I wanted to make sure that I let my colleagues know about that. Um, Sadler Health Center, December 1, had the ribbon cutting on their new uh, facility in Mechanicsburg. Ben Berner was there uh, and took a lot of nice photos at that event. So I know that... Uh, Sadler opened that facility on Monday, December 4th. And just so you know, not only are they offering 
regular medical um, items. They also have a pharmacy, vision, a dentist, and behavioral health. It is amazing, and that is a you know that is a federal uh, a federally backed health center, and it is a tremendous addition uh, to Cumberland County, and will serve our residents very very well. Um, so those were the those were the two things that I have. Um, thanks. Thanks. Susie. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner D. Filippo, your last uh, lands on report. Yeah, I don't have any. Uh, I have a report. I will have uh, four liaison meetings within the next two weeks. But if my memory is correct, we have no additional board of commissioner meetings this year. Correct. Okay. So what I will do at the end of those two weeks is just email you folks my report. Thank you, Commissioner. I would like to report that an executive session was held on November 30th, 2023 at 9.30 a.m. And at this time, I'll ask if there's any other business to come before the board today. Hearing none, we are adjourned. Thank you.